This video is about alligator clips and making clip leads. It corresponds to the first part of section 8.3 of Applied Analog Electronics, which is part of Lab 2. Alligator clips are these little metal objects with teeth in the jaws. They're designed for grabbing onto pieces of metal and making a good electrical connection to them. The idea of that is that the alligator clip is connected to a wire. And so you can make an electrical connection to the wire and then from the wire either to another alligator clip or you can just take that end of the wire and plug it into a breadboard. So alligator clips like this are very useful for connecting up components that don't fit in a breadboard because they're too large and making a wire that fit into a breadboard. We'll also use them, particularly with some of the longer wires, to connect up to things like voltmeters or ohmmeters. Uh, in fact, for the lab two, where you're going to be um, measuring the resistance of thermistors, you're going to want to connect the thermistor to the ohmmeter with an alligator clip because the thermistor is going to be dunked in water and we don't want to be taking the uh, voltmeter or ohmmeter and dunking it in water. Particularly in the second part where we'll be doing stuff with breadboard, you definitely don't want your breadboard getting really close to your water. So you want to have a reasonably long wire to uh, separate the two and keep your electronics away from your wet stuff. Okay, so how do we make one of these alligator clips? Well, most of the alligator clips that we'll be dealing with have a screw on the back of the alligator clip and a hole right next to the screw. And the idea is you thread the wire through the end. There's a hole in the back here. You thread it through there till it comes out this hole here. And then you wrap it around the screw and tighten the screw down to make a nice solid gas tight connection. Now, the large alligator clips can take fairly large wires. Um, smaller ones generally use slightly smaller wires. Uh, there's two different ways this hole generally gets done. On the good ones, the bar across the hole, the hole there is pressed down so that it's easy to thread the wire through. You press it in there and the, the little bar there actually pushes the wire up a bit. In cheaper ones, like the ones we'll probably have, um, that extra step of pressing that bar down hasn't been done and so it's kind of hard to thread the wire up through that hole. It can be done, but it's just a a little bit more difficult and that's why these are cheaper. It's one less step in the manufacturing. Some really tiny ones don't even have any place to thread the wire through and you just sort of take it off the side here. That tends not to be very sturdy but then these little clips are only used for very small wires. Some alligator clips are a totally different style and they're ones where they just there's no screw. There's just a hole here. The wire threads through that hole and then you solder it in place and these little prongs here on the back here are for uh, crimping down over the insulation so you've got some strain relief on the, uh, on the wire. We're not going to use those because they're basically single use. Once you solder them in place you can't, and crimp the things down, you can't really change your mind. Um, and so because we're going to want to have different length wires um, different times, we're going to want to be able to undo the things. And so we use screw terminals. You will sometimes see the alligator clips with these rubber boots over them. That's they're usually this sort of alligator clip, um, and then the rubber boot just sort of stretches over it. You, we're not going to be dealing with that because we don't have the solder on solder on ones, and we don't really need the rubber boots to protect ourselves from high voltages. So let's take one of these cheap clips, and I'll show you how you attach the wire to it. Now the wire I'm going to be using is just 22 gauge solid hookup wire. It's the same wire that we use in the breadboards. It's what works best in the breadboards. Um, you can use flexible wire. The problem is that if you have flexible wire, you can't really stick the flexible end into the breadboard. It just gets frayed unless you, you know, solder it or something to make it into a solid piece at that end. So we're going to be dealing pretty much always with just the solid hookup wire. Okay. So I'm going to strip this, and I'm going to strip this much more than we usually strip 
the wires in this class because you need to wrap it around that screw and that takes like a centimeter, 12 millimeters, half an inch, however you want to measure it. It doesn't have to be exact. If it's too long or too short, you can, you know, well, if it's too long, you can trim it off. If it's too short, you just need to strip some more. Okay, so this is the one I was going to use. And if you try and thread it through that hole, it's kind of difficult. So there's a little trick to that, and that is at the very tip here, bend it just a little bit. So you have a bit of a hook there, you know, 45 degrees, 30 degrees, not a full 90 degree bend. And then when you're pushing it through, if you've got the hook on the right side, you should be able to feed it through the hole so it's far enough through that you can grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it the rest of the way. And then you can use the pliers to wrap it around the screw and tighten the screw down. And now you've got a nice tight connection. You can get a little bit of strain relief sometimes by sliding the sleeve up if it's got a, a sliding sleeve. Some of them have a molded on sleeve that doesn't move. Um, but that makes a pretty good connection and uh, it's easily undone. You know, undo the screw and pull the wire out so that you can change wires if you find you've got too long a wire, too short a wire, you need to adjust things. Okay, um, that's probably about all you need to know about alligator clips.